Good afternoon, Skedline. I'm Adit Matthew, and here is your news update. 21 years ago, Canada's highest court had a law against assisted suicide. Today, the Supreme Court of Canada was unanimous in its decision to allow doctors assisted suicide. This means terminally ill patients will have the right to die. The court has given federal and provincial governments 12 months to make a new legislation to respond to the ruling. Critiques of the ruling say it puts disabled people at risk. Quebec assisted suicide law is expected to take effect in December. Check out Skedline.com for more coverage. German Chancellor Angela Merkel is in Moscow meeting with President from Russia Vladimir Putin and French President Francois Hollande to discuss a ceasefire in Ukraine. Merkel wants the bloodshed to end as soon as possible and the Minsk agreement to be restored. The ceasefire agreement made last September was unsuccessful the first time around. The conflict so far has claimed over 5,000 lives. Jordan Queen uh, Rania is joining thousands of protesters in Amman. They are protesting Jordanian pilot Muat al Qasasbah's death. Kasasba was taken hostage and killed by ISIS. Jordanians are rallying to take a stand against a militant group. China is opposing any foreign countries who are receiving the Dalai Lama as their guests. The Dalai Lama is known as a political exile. China is against any countries who interfere with the Tibetan issues. Foreign Affairs Minister Hong Li says the Dalai Lama's, quote, scheme will not succeed. Dalai Lama continues to try to find support with other countries. In Toronto, three police officers from the 51 Division have been suspended after a sexual assault complaint was made by a female parking enforcement officer. The investigation will take place internally uh, in Toronto. Uh, Toronto Police President Mike McCormack says the Toronto Police Association is aware of the sexual assault allegations made. We will not be making any further comments until the complaint has been fully investigated. The three uh, officers are suspended with pay pending the outcome of the investigation. Post Media has announced layoffs in its national network of newspapers and websites. The company which owns the National Post has announced voluntary buyouts at the Windsor Star, the Ottawa Citizen, and the Montreal Gazette. Post Media has committed to a three-year program to reduce its overall operating costs by 15 to 20 percent. Canada added 35,400 new jobs in the month of January. Although the stat seems great, most of them are part-time jobs, but it's good enough to drop the jobless rate to 6.6 percent. CIBC Chief Economist Avery Shemfield said Canada's job numbers were good, but not quite as good as they looked at first glance given a tilt to part-time and self-employed positions. Job cut announcements from companies such as Target and Wrigley's can also play a huge role in the events that could play out in the next few months. Now here's sports with Camille Teep. Hi, this is your sports report for Friday, February 6th. The Toronto Maple Leafs bring their 10-game losing streak to New Jersey tonight when they play the Devils. I'm sure every Toronto hockey fan wishes them luck. The Toronto Raptors are playing tonight at home against the Los Angeles Clippers. We're three games away from the All-Star Game featuring Toronto Raptor Kyle Lowry. Canadian Dustin Cook won the silver medal at the World Alpine Skiing Championships yesterday. The Ottawa native entered the event 13th overall. Former number one golfer Tiger Woods has withdrawn from the Farmers Insurance Open. Woods says he cannot play because of back pain. Wolves has pulled out six times in his career and three times in just the past nine tournaments. Woods has fallen to 56 in the world golf rankings. Toronto's FC new player Sebastian Giovanco received a hero's welcome from fans when he arrived at Pearson International yesterday. That was your sports for today. Back to you, Adith. It's another chilly day here in Toronto and it doesn't look like the snow is going to let up anytime soon. Today we hit a high of minus 3 and we're going down to a minus 7 tonight. Our weekend is going to be a snowy one with a high of minus 2 on Saturday and a low of minus 7. Sunday we hit a high of minus 6 with a low of minus 10. And as we head on into our work week, we start off with a snowy minus 6 and a low of minus 12 on Monday.
TZ it is clearing up though with a high of minus 6 and a low of minus 12, but don't put away your snow brushes just yet because Wednesday you're going to need them with a high of minus 4 and a low of minus 12. This has been Nima for weather. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks Nima and thanks Camille for the sports update. Now here's Annika with your entertainment. Thank you, Adith. Here's your entertainment update. You can discover diverse cuisine during Winterlicious. Check out Skedline.com for more story. One of the original YouTube sensations has a show in Etobicoke. Rapper Dumbfounded is performing at the Rock Pile West tonight. An exhibit of New York artist Jean-Michel Basquiat's work opens today at the Art Gallery of Ontario. Basquiat started out as a graffiti artist painting under bridges in New York City. His social commentary on racism was a prominent message that brought his works to the gallery exhibits. The Basquiat's exhibit runs at the AGO between February 7th until May 10th. The newest movies to hit the big screen today are Jupiter Ascending, Seventh Son, and the SpongeBob movie. Seattle, Washington now has marijuana vending machines. To buy medical cannabis, people need to set up an account with an official ID and approved medical card. Once you swipe your card, there is a camera to set up and confirm your identity. Reggae legend Bob Marley would have been 70 today. A tribute concert will be held this Saturday inside Toronto's Mod Club. I'm Annika Durasova, and that's it for all of us at the Skedline. Please visit Skedline.com, check out all of our coverage. We send you off with one of Marley's classics. Who do you